So today we have very exciting news for our goldfish. We found something online and went and bought it and we are super, super excited to get it up and running, but we need your help. So here's what happened when we found something online. Okay guys, we have somewhere very exciting to go. We have purchased something and we are headed to pick it up. We found it on Facebook and it was a really good deal. So we are gonna go buy it and you guys have no idea what it is. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so do you guys see what it is? Yep. How what is it? A fish tank. It's a 55 gallon fish tank, you guys. We got 55 gallons for our fish. How is the filter gonna filter that off? Yeah, we're gonna have to get a new filter, I'm sure. <laughs> it's probably gonna be really expensive to upgrade, but our fish deserve it. They have been troopers in that little bitty tank, so it's time for them to upgrade. We got a 55 gallon fish tank, you guys. Yeah. And it was only $30. The only drawbacks are that it did not come with a stand, so we had to order a stand, and it did not come with a filter, so we had to order the filter. But other than that, we got a $30 55 gallon tank. That's pretty exciting. So there's a couple of things we need. The inside of our tank is dirty. So we need to be able to clean it out and make it safe for our fish friends to live in it. The other thing is we're not exactly sure how to clean it out. If we should just use water and a sponge, like a clean sponge, or if we should clean it out with some special cleaner that's specifically for fish tanks. Like how would you guys go about cleaning out this big 55 gallon tank? Because we really wanna get it up and running. The other thing is, do we need to let the new tank cycle? I've ordered more gravel, because I know we're gonna need more gravel for the bottom of the tank. So I've ordered more gravel, a lot more gravel, because we're gonna need a lot more. So I've ordered it already, and it's gonna be here in a couple of days. But do I need to let the tank cycle? Here's my plan. I'm gonna take all of the gravel that's in the bottom of our current tank, and I'm going to put that with our new gravel in the bottom of our new tank. So is the gravel that we already have going to help this new tank filter quickly so that we can just transfer everything over and use it? Or, I saw that. <laughs> or do we need to put all the stuff in the tank and let it cycle for a little while before we add our fish to the new tank? We did not do the cycling process correctly when we got our first tank. Our 10 gallon tank was not cycled properly and we had all kinds of issues because of that and because of overstocking. We just wanna make sure that we're gonna do this tank right. Are you mocking me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might I think you might be making fun of me. Do I talk too much? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Okay guys, so we need your help. Do we need to cycle the new tank? And how do we clean it? We wanna make sure that we get it cleaned appropriately and we wanna make sure that we cycle it the right way. So let us know if that's something that we need to do or if we can just kind of transfer it all over and let it filter for a day or two before we add the fish. Cause I know that if you put all the gravel that's in this tank in the other tank, it's gonna make it all gravel, it's gonna make it all cloudy and gross. We know we're gonna need to let that settle, but how long do we need to let the new tank run, the new filter run before we can add our fish to it? Let's check in with our fish. You wanna check in? Yeah. So here's our buddies. There's Crystal Jewel hanging out. She's pretty active as you can see. She's a happy little girl. We think she's a girl. We just sort of made that up. And this one is Whoop, can't see you. There's Sheldon and Michelle. I think Sheldon is this one. We don't really know the difference. We just say that the bigger one is Sheldon and the smaller one is Michelle. <laughs> no really real, real, no real reason. And this one here is Brutus the Batman fish, also a happy guy. We don't know that he's a guy. We just decided that he is. So hopefully he doesn't prove us wrong. <laughs> Anyway, they're happy and healthy, but they do need a water change currently. So this will hopefully be their last water change in this tank. And next time they'll be moving into a much, much bigger house. Okay guys, time for a water change. I wish there was a way to still have light in the tank, even when you take the lights off. That would be great. Hey okay, guys, do that. Crystal, don't get scared like the last time. Don't get scared, guys. Remember in that one. 
Yes. You didn't mean to. It's rememberable. What? I forgot where my snail was. I see him right here on the wall. He was on the ship. Still on the ship. Yeah, the, yeah. I was looking at this one. One thing that I am going to do during this water change that I haven't done before is to clean this little black sponge right here. Now. I keep forgetting to take it out. I asked a while ago if I should clean it and I keep forgetting to do it when I do my water changes. So this time I'm actually gonna clean this guy out. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide this guy out of here, put him in the water and rinse him out just like a sponge. Ew. That's a lot of grossness in there. Why do you put, mommy, why do you put your hands in the yucky water? Cause I'm trying to wash this yucky sponge. So that is much cleaner than it was. I'll slide that back in there and stick it back in. I'll we'll just slide that right back in there and voila. There, that's clean. Okay, now I never forget my bowl buddy. This is what's gonna take the chlorine out of my tap water so that it's safe for my fish. So this little guy, just one little fizzy tab. I just feel like and I take it out and I drop it right down where the water flows in my tank and let it fizz. This is fish are like yummy, yummy. I want to taste like. I want to see what it tastes like. <laughs> okay, I have my new water. Something I always do is to check the temperature, make sure that it's pretty close, and that'll do. And then I just dump it in there, nice and slow. Scary. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Bah. <laughs> you got the diver. <laughs> Sorry, diver. A diver went down and then up. <laughs> Mommy. Flop. said this doesn't help anything, but I find that my plant is happier when I add my easy balance to the water. So I'm just going to make sure that I got the right amount here. Oop. Add it right in. Ew! It looks like fish. Bird. It looks like fish poop. It looks like fish poop? Yeah. And then I just kind of look around and make sure that I didn't mess up my gravel too much because my snails fall in the holes that I make in the gravel. And I like to make sure that I don't have any deep holes in there that my snails will fall into. I don't think I have any this time. I think we're good. So are you guys super excited to have a much bigger house for your friends? Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys know that we're not doubling the size of the tank. We're not tripling the size of the tank. They get five and a half times what they have now for their new home. How cool is that gonna be? I know, it's amazing. That's gonna be amazing. Wow. I'm so excited. I hope they're excited too. Do you think they realize what's happening? Yeah. Hey, maybe we can get one more fish. Actually, maybe people. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're not gonna do anything until we get the second our our new tank settled. We want to make sure that everybody is living happily and we have it healthy and have everything balanced before we start changing or adding to our population. So our biggest goal right now is to get our new tank cleaned out, 
to get it filled up and put in our new stand and everything that we have to do. Mm -hmm. And then after we let it cycle for as long as we hear is necessary, we need all of our fish people to help us out with this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. As long as, as, as soon as we have our new tank cycled appropriately, we will add our new, our old friends to our new tank and give them a much bigger house. Mm -hmm. You guys excited? Yes. Yeah. I'm excited. What? Can we get bigger decorations? Not we'll have to get we'll have to get bigger decorations because those decorations that we have are gonna look teeny yeah, tiny gonna in like our big tank. Dimpy. But we are <laughs> staying. We are keeping our plants though. We're yes, we're gonna plant. keep our plant because we like planty, mm -hmm. and we're gonna keep the decorations that we have currently. We're just mm -hmm. gonna add to it. So we might take out some of the plastic plants yeah. and get natural plants mm -hmm. as we go. But we're not gonna change our population at all right now. I just want to make that perfectly clear. We are not changing our population until we have our new tank established, okay? Okay. You guys understand that? Yeah. Cool. But we can start researching new friends to add to our tank so that when we're ready, we'll know what we want to go find. I know. Okay. Understood? Yeah. Can we get like a pirate ship, like those big pirate ship decorations? I don't know. Those are pretty expensive. We'll have to see what we can find. Yeah. I like those decorations that you see in the aquarium. Those are giant. They're those giant. giant rocks and stuff that they have oh, in there. I love those. Those are pretty cool. But for now, it's time for bed. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know if this channel is strong, share it with your friends. And now, good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe now. And don't forget to tell us in the comments if you're excited to see our new tag. Fish tank.